Thank you so much for uh, taking time to uh, talk with us. We are excited for the uh, tour and uh, take me back to the start of your career. I know Patsy Klein was a was a huge inspiration. Yeah, I started. Um, I guess coming up with this idea of hybrid country, which I was coming from, sort of a a punk rock background at the time, and um, yet I was fascinated by country and its kitschness, and yet its uh, salt of the earth. Um, direct lyrics, and so I I decided to sort of create some sort of hybrid, and and came up with uh, country punk or torch and to- torch and toying. Twenty five years ago, does it feel like it's twenty five years, or did it go in the blink of an eye? <laughs> well, that was more like thirty or thirty five years ago, but yes, it <laughs> felt like it. <laughs> it 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 both simultaneously. It feels like a lifetime ago, but it also feels like no time has passed. I should uh, correct myself. The 25 years is from the uh, first all-original collection of music that included hits like Constant Craving and yeah. uh, and started the award-winning and uh, got world-renowned as an artist. And what was that transition like for you to go from recording some songs that you wanted to share with people to all of a sudden having this world stage? It was a whirlwind for sure. It was, uh, it was a lot of work and it was uh, no rest and it was exciting as heck. It was... It was what you sort of dream about. Um, I imagine it's kind of like getting to the World Series or the Stanley Cup or something as a player. It's, it's the pinnacle, and um, it's a, it, it's it, it's so exciting. And when it's all over, it's a little bit of a letdown. You have a, a perfect balance of life and touring, and uh, this tour is going to uh, take you all across Canada once again. Uh, and you're a Canada 150 ambassador. T- tell us about that. About first of all, getting the phone call that. Uh, Canada is not only celebrating a birthday, but they want you to be a key part of of the message because your music is such a key part of our society and, and our generations. Well, it's extremely flattering because Canada has so many amazing, talented people. Um, it's, 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 it's kind of unprecedented, really, that a country our size would provide the world with so many amazing talents. Um, so it's extremely flattering that they would want me to be an ambassador and um i i love to sing the songs of the great canadian songwriters and i'll be doing that as well as doing uh the music from ingenue this year so it's a pretty special year for me is it neat to see up-and-coming artists and have an opportunity to pass along the the knowledge that you've gained over the years of your career oh it's it's such an amazing opportunity to help young singer-songwriters in Canada uh, have some stage time and get it, expand their audience. And I get to see what the country has to offer, which is, again, just embarrassingly rich. And um, it's, it's, it's a really, it's a, it's a fun way to uh, travel Canada to also have, have the local singer-songwriter on stage with you. It just makes it feel... Um, more grounded in the community and, and excited to give them a, a leg up. Is the uh, creative process the same now as it was when you first started to uh, to work on music? Mm, no, I think I was I was unbridled back in the day. I I think you know now I'm a little older and a little lazier probably and a little bit more uh, noise from my internal editor. Um, but back in the day, I, I just felt like I was going to conquer the world, and I had a lot of confidence. But I think it's it's fine. I, I think probably getting older, you have a little bit more uh, balance and a little bit more wisdom. So uh, hopefully I can apply that to my creative process. I, I want to ask about uh, being your own editor and with social media. And I talked with Ron McLean, uh, another great Canadian uh, icon, and, and we talked about social media from the aspect of how quickly something can be misinterpreted, not unlike a, a song lyric that you could have a whole idea of, of why you're going to include that lyric, and it might strike someone totally different. Oh, yeah. No, it definitely does. It definitely does. I, I Yeah, I think it's actually, it can be used as a tool of, of learning um, equanimity and compassion, because you do have to take that in cons- if you ca- if you care about it you can take it into consideration and and realize that your opinion maybe you didn't think it all the way through and you may be offending people so yeah it's it's a it's a treacherous um <laughs> it's a minefield of emotion that's for sure but 
if you approach it right, I always try to keep um, positive and um, if not positive, maybe then humorous. So, Do you ever, uh, and because I know controversy has, has happened throughout your career and on a very, very, very small scale as a, as a radio guy who shares parts of my life with our listeners, you get that criticism or you get that critique that you weren't quite anticipating and you're not sure how to react. Uh, is that something that as, as you grow older, it gets, gets easier? Well, I think it probably gets easier in that you've had the experience of how to deal with it and that you've seen, you, you have sort of a more breadth of experience and you've, you've been there and you've seen other people go through it. But, you know, we're human beings and it still hurts and it still, especially if it rings true, it hurts even more. So, um, you know, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a great, again, another great tool to, to reflect and to grow. So... It's not easy, but if you if you utilize it properly, it, it can be positive. I'm so excited for the show here in Charlottetown, and uh, thank you so much for taking time to talk with me. I do want to ask about, uh, on your Twitter feed, the Stop, Breathe, and Think uh, app. And, and yeah. And how you're involved with that, uh, and what it means, because as a parent, this is a, a very cool opportunity to uh, uh, help kids stop, breathe, and just think and... Yeah, well, I just find I, well, I'm a Buddhist. Obviously, it comes from my Buddhist practice, and but it's not it's a non-denominational app which um, helps kids just kind of shut down for a minute because our society and our world is so plugged in and so much information and moving so fast that um, it's very hard to let the pawn settle and see what's actually in it. So. It's really good for kids to just, you know, run through a meditation to teach them how to shut down, to teach them how to clear their mind. So hopefully it's going to, it resonates with kids. It's doing very well. We're selling about 200 um, at downloads per hour. So it's, it's doing very, very well. And um, really our intention is that it just helps people. And there's another one, there's one for teens and adults, and there's also one for, for uh, youth. And that's the one we just released. And uh, just just hopefully it just benefits people and relaxing their mind. Awesome. Thank you so much for this time. I look forward to uh, meeting you in person when you're here at the East Link Center. And, and, Thank uh, you. Can't wait. It's been a while since I've been in, in your beautiful city, and I can't wait to get back. I, I can't even begin to figure out how long it's been. I think it's been about 30 years. It's crazy. Well, thanks so much for your support and your time.